So Derby County look to continue adding the pressure onto the top two. They're now joint level on points with Peterborough. This weekend, they face up against Lincoln City away and Paul Warren will be looking to extend his winning run. They beat Lincoln City just a couple of weeks ago in December. It was a 3-1 victory where we saw Liam Thompson return from injury. Are Derby going to have the same look this weekend? Well, let's take a look into both teams, the form and the league table. So, here is the league table. As you can see, Derby County are sitting in third place with 52 points from 26 games. They are level on points with Peterborough. They are only behind based on goals scored. Lincoln City find themselves a lot further down the table, sitting in 12th, picking up 33 points from 27 games. Obviously, both of these sides have a lot to play for. Lincoln City will be hoping that they can try and get themselves into that playoff chase, but at the moment, they find themselves about 15, 16 points away from 7th place. But if you look at the table at the top, it is really tight. A defeat for Derby could see them slip all the way down to 6th position with the likes of Oxford and Barnsley and even Bolton being able to get the jump. Obviously, you can see that Bolton Wanderers have two games in hand. Unfortunately, a fan uh, passed away in their previous game and... Obviously, the game was postponed as a result of a medical emergency. So they have two games in hand and they could obviously climb to the top of the table if they win both. If you're into all things Derby County and all things F1, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. That way you can keep all up to date with all of my content. Although Lincoln will probably be looking forwards towards higher up the table, they also have to make sure they keep in mind those teams behind them. Reading in 21st place are 10 points behind. Obviously, that is a big gap for a relegation threatened side and a side that is losing players. Obviously, Tom Holmes joined Luton Town from Reading earlier this week, but has returned on loan. It is a gap that Lincoln might be worried about, but they'll be hoping to have their eyes firmly up the table. Shall we now get into a look at Lincoln City's recent form and what Derby have been doing in recent games. So on the head-to-head, -head, as you can see here, Derby have won two, Lincoln have won one, and there's been one draw in the process. Derby have won both games this season on an aggregate score of 5-1. Derby will be looking to add a third win to that. As promotion chasers, it's the mid-table, bottom half of the team, bottom half of the league teams that you can't be making mistakes against. You can't be having banana skins but with the way recent performances have been, it is a possibility Lincoln City may be able to get one over on us. They did it last year on the 13th of September. They beat us 2-0 uh, at their place. Obviously, we've not been there since, so this will be the return. It's going to be a difficult game for Derby. And you saw the performance against Burton, although for 50 or so minutes, we were dominating and all over them. We had that 15-minute spell where Burton got back into the game and that nearly cost us massively, really. If it wasn't for Conor Horahan stepping up late on in that Burton game, we would not be sitting in the position we're sitting in right now. Here is something which will get the Derby fans excited. Lincoln City haven't won in five games in their recent five anyway. Only recently picking up a 1-1 draw with Wickham Wanderers. They've obviously had some tough games in that period, obviously facing the likes of us. They've faced Bolton, they've faced Blackpool and Wickham. But they'll, be ho they'll have been hoping for much more from that period. And it's that period that's seen them fall away from the playoff race, really. Although for me, I think that playoff race is going to tighten up much more over the next few weeks. Obviously, you look at Derby... Two losses, three wins in the past five, but it's something like 12 wins in 15 or something like that. Obviously, the only losses come into Peterborough, Bradford. Um, they lost to Stevenage back in October, um, and there's a draw at Wickham in there. But Derby have been on some excellent form, but for me, the performances haven't quite matched it. Let's now get into Lincoln City's manager and let's take a look at their squad of players. Let's see who the danger men are and who Derby need to look out for. 
So here is the manager for Lincoln City. It is Michael Skubala. He's managed 12 matches, losing six, drawing four, and only winning two of those games. He was previously at Leeds United, having a stint with the first team and with their academy. But he'll be hoping that he can turn his fortunes around. Six losses out of 12 games is absolutely not where he wants to be. It's not where Lincoln want to be. And he may feel that his job could potentially be under threat. They don't pick up some form. Obviously, if they continue on the trend of only picking up 10 points every 12 games, they will probably be safe this season. But going into next season, that's going to cause some major problems. So there's one major name which you can see across all the categories, and that is Daniel Mandrew. He is going to be the major danger man which Derby needs to quieten down. You've also got Lass Sorensen, you've got Reese Hackett, you've got a bunch of players in this Lincoln City side who can cause Derby problems. Derby are going to have to be on their top game to make sure that they come away with all three points. Lincoln City are a team that have shown us in previous games that they can do one over on us. And that is something which Paul Warren will be hoping isn't going to happen this time round. So Lincoln City recently signed Joe Taylor from Luton Town. He's a 21-year-old striker and he'll be someone that Michael Skubala is looking to pick up some goals and assists in the upcoming games. He's someone that they'll be looking to help revitalise their season and pick up some form. Joe Taylor didn't really get a proper opportunity at Luton with him signing and then them later getting promoted to the Premier League. He now finds himself down in League One and he has a point to prove for his future career at Luton Town. We all know the situation here at Derby. James Collins is banging in the goals for fun at the minute. I believe he's now on 16 for the season with 12 in the league. Nathaniel Mendes Lang has been absolutely outstanding, contributing 14 goals this season. Tom Barkhazen has hit some really good form recently, picking up a goal and an assist in the game against Burton. Although I don't believe that his performances have been that impressive, he seems to be picking up those goals and assists in those games where we need it, and that's massively important. Obviously, the likes of Cashin has, has been absolutely brilliant this season, but something Derby needs to look out for is that left-back position. After losing Craig Forsyth to a calf injury, Callum Elder hasn't quite stepped up to the mark. Obviously, he spent a long time out injured and he needs to get back his sharpness. But I just feel like, especially that second goal at Burton, he overcommitted, it left them one-on-one -on -one, and it's things like that which need to be questioned. Obviously, Craig Forsyth is an absolute stalwart here at Derby. He's gone through... 10, 11 years of different managers, different left-backs trying to replace him, but he's the one that remains. Lee Buchanan couldn't take it, Scott Malone, Stephen Warnock, all these players couldn't take over from Craig Forsyth, even though he's had those severe injuries. So we're now going to get into a team prediction. My score prediction I made in a previous video, I'll tag that over on the other side of the screen. So make sure you go and watch that after you've watched this and let me know what you think to my predictions so far. So the formation I'm expecting Derby to play is a 4-2-3-1 system, but I am expecting a few changes. So let's get into the team, shall we? So you can see on the screen now the team I've selected. Some players I personally wouldn't pick, but this is what I'm expecting Paul Warren to do. So I believe he's going to stick with Josh Vickers in goal. Personally, I'm still not convinced. If you go and check out my match review, I talk about it. I've spoke about it in all the games he's played, really. I just feel like, I feel like the back four loses its comfortability and its confidence. The back four... You'll see a surprise name in there of Louis Sibley at left back. Now, now, he played left back for a bunch of games last season and he was incredible, pers in my personal opinion. I thought he was really good there. Now, obviously, the big problem with that is the fact that he is deemed the worst tackler at the club by Paul Warren. But he has been good when he's played at left back. He came on at left back the other day against Burton. Uh, I'm led to believe that he played left back in an under 21s game against Notts County for 45 minutes. So it could be something which Paul Warren is looking to experiment with and give Sibley a new lease of life in a new position. 
The midfield three, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. Bird and Hurahan a main stage. Warren isn't going to drop his cops in Horahan, especially not after a last-minute winner. And Max Bird, I think, is absolutely incredible. I think he's having a really good season. Then, either side, you've got Bock, Hazen and Mendes Lang. With John Jules through that middle, in that number 10, false nine role, behind James Collins. Now, I don't think that is John Jules' best role. But, I do think that he has something to offer to this team. I think he can stretch defences and I think that's imperative when we have Collins up front. And obviously, you're not going to drop James Collins in the form he's in recently. He's got 12 goals in the league this season. He scored the other night. And for me, I can't fault him this year. Although, he's not my favourite player and I wouldn't say he's who I'd have up front if I was the manager. But he's given Paul Warren that confidence to start him every week. And that is something which I'm excited to see going forward. Now, let's go into a few talking points. So, obviously, you'll see from my team prediction that Louis Sibley is playing at left back. Obviously, this could hurt Callum Elder. Obviously, Callum Elder being a natural left back, left wing back, he'll think that's his position with Craig Forsyth being out. But for me, I don't think his performances have warranted staying in the team. I do think that Louis Sibley has something to offer this team, but we haven't seen it in midfield a lot this season. He's shown up in cup games, but in the league, we've not really seen him perform to that high level. So maybe a move to left back is something that he needs, and it's something which could benefit the team in a manner of going forwards. Obviously, we heard in the post match interviews with Paul Warren that Tyrese John Jules' stay has been extended till the end of the season. Obviously, there's still been no official confirmation from Derby County on Twitter or anywhere like that, but I assume they might not do that. But he's still here, so I think we need to utilise him. Personally, I'd want him as my number nine, but with James Collins in the form he's in, you can't really take Collins out without causing... A big problem in my opinion so John Jules has to sit in that number 10 role and hopefully that is something which we can see going forwards and hopefully he can build up a partnership with those two wingers and James Collins ahead of him so obviously I made my team prediction I made my score prediction a few weeks ago in a video preview in the entirety of January that should be linked in the top corner so if you've enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button you comment and you subscribe let me know what you think about my team prediction about the upcoming game. Do you think Derby are going to pick up all three points? And do you think Derby can get themselves promoted this season? So thank you for watching. I'll catch you in my next video.